Hello viewers and welcome to another edition of ARK News. I'm your host Archivist and today I will be going through three topics related to either the gaming or tech world at the moment. Okay, so first off, if you're a PC gamer, this story is likely going to interest you. Nvidia have announced a technology that they call G-Sync, which is an excellent alternative to V-Sync. G-Sync will change the refresh rate of your monitor to match the frame rate of the game dynamically. This will make screen tearing a thing of the past and will also remove the need to reduce the frame rate to a fraction of your monitor's refresh rate. However, there is one catch. In order to use this feature, you will need to purchase a monitor that has a G-Sync chip inside. This technology seems like it will be most beneficial to people who have a mid-range PC, hate screen tearing and want to get the best frame rate possible. The reviews are in for Arkham Origins and the game has achieved a Metacritic score of 79 as of me making this video. This number will likely change as more reviews come in but all in all it's fairly good news. However the Metacritic score for Arkham City on the 360 was 94, so the quality may have dropped somewhat. I suppose the new developers are still finding their feet. From what I have read so far it looks to be an enjoyable title but maybe not a must buy. There are lots of great games coming out so it might be worth saving your money if you're not a fan of the series. I would also like to take a moment if I may to thank the good people at Viso Games for featuring my Batman preview video. It's truly humbling to have such a popular channel recognise a partner as small as myself. Thanks so much guys. Also a word to any of you planning on purchasing Call of Duty Ghosts for PC. The game will require that you have both a 64-bit operating system and at least 6GB of RAM. I find this quite interesting as it can suggest one of two things. One is that the game is going to take real advantage of PC hardware, delivering a beautiful experience to those of you who own a beastly gaming rig. On the other hand though, the yearly release schedule could mean that the developers performed a rush job when it came to optimising the game. For one thing, the game won't support DirectX 9, which just seems a bit odd to me. Ever the optimist, I hope it's the former, but we don't have to wait too long to find out. For more information on Call of Duty Ghosts, be sure to check out the preview video available on my channel. This was another episode of ARK News, I hope you enjoyed it. As always people, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time.